A full day of Constellation Round action from two different facilities. We welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center, where today here we'll give Denver its first touch. So we'll just get settled in here. As we mentioned, Milwaukee's one and three. Denver with the same record. And the three. Well, guys, last week Giannis was here in Vegas for a few days to watch this Bucks team, as well as his brother Alex, who's on Sacramento's summer league team. He had to leave because his girlfriend Mariah's due date is this week, and a lot of length through multiple positions. They lost a lot losing P.J. Tucker, but I think the Ojale pickup this offseason will be good, helping defensively. But there's room for somebody who's... All right, take a look at this, Roz. This is Highland through the contact. Yeah, showing he has a little bit of strength as he flexes and touch. He's going up against <laughs> Diakite. And then rolling to the rim. Good timing and hands to finish. Here's Highland wide open. Bang, got that. Maybe the best possession of the half here for the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, and it's cool to see Highland get going. Eating. Euro step extra pass. Oh, that is, how many passes was that? Textbook. Bones with the bucket. We're already going to know about. They're going to be viral on social media and all sorts of stuff like that. He's got an NCAA championship and now an NBA championship. Drive stripped in the paint by Burton. Push it ahead to Highland. He'll slow up here. Get it inside to cheat him. Bump by Trice, but still able to quarter. Okay. Bones out of the corner. I was going to say it, but I was like. Puts him on the skids. And Bones. Bear in front of me. Secured the points off turnover. Highland isolation play. Oh, and a sweet baseline fader for how, Bones Highland. How is Bones Highland? Cookie jar. You know, for me, I feel like we're going to see players come out here and drop 30. All right, if you're going to make an NBA team, you might not be the guy that they need. Tough feed for White. Or Slings fierce. it outside. It's another turnover. It's showtime. On the break, Cheatham gathers after fumbling it. We already know he can swing that thing and has a really nice vision and passing ability. He's played hard around the rim. Highland with a slick move to the rack to beat Diakite. I know who Bones is. I already got the answer. Give it to me. Oh, he's the move. Up by three here in the fourth. Highland. Highland. How about it? Highland and company. Bones Highland off the bench. Still hot just didn't have any rhythm in the first half and boy it has been totally different here in quarters three and four Highland again he got yep foul and concentration and focus and poise that we've seen from trice to gather rhythm just came up with 28 point game trice barely played so you're gonna pop out here noir is not playing today so you knew okay my number is gonna get called and not even shrink from that moment but to be absolutely mind-blowingly great which the Nuggets are playing with changes with Bones on the court. Suddenly, the Nuggets look up and they're up seven. Nine to shoot. Highland, Ooh. little Chrissy Cross here. And a scooper pass, Mamu Kelly. Highland unable to secure the rebound. Crutcher will shoot, but it's too late. The rebound is secured by Cheatham. And a great way to finish for the Denver Nuggets. After having, now he's standing to the left, I think, of Katie George. Katie? Thanks, Sean. Bones, it was a one-point game at the start of the fourth quarter. How are you and your teammates able to pull away to get this win? Uh, you know, we just stuck together. Uh, they took the league at one point in time, but, you know, guys came in and had big minutes. You know, guys who didn't even play a game yet, they came in and had big minutes. You know, I'm just proud of them. For you personally, you had just five points in yeah. the first half, and yeah. then you come out and you drop 15. Yeah. What was your mentality going into that second half? Uh, just staying locked in, you know, not getting discouraged with not making shots because I know I can do other things, you know, get my teammates plays, you know, get them open shots, and then I know eventually it, it, it'll come, you go, know, because I, I just get busy. That's what I do. <laughs> yes, you do, and I know it's been a crazy few weeks with yeah. COVID and having a depleted roster coming here to Las Vegas. How does it feel after all of that to get through <laughs> and head back home getting two wins to finish out Summer League? Uh, we came in like 0-3, so you know these two wins was big. I want—I told my teammates we're gonna do everything to get this win. I'm gonna do everything in my power to get these two wins and help get these two wins. And I, I just want to go out there and do, that, do whatever it takes. Training camp is right around the corner. How do you hope to contribute for the main squad this fall? Oh, just doing what I do right now. Uh, I know what the, what the Nuggets need. I know I'm that you know that missing puzzle, honestly. So I know I can come in and, and contribute right away. Best of luck. You're a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Sean. Well, Katie, thank you.